So I'm going to do a gear review of stuff that I'm going to be sticking into my backpack. Some of the stuff that's not here right now are my gloves right out of the truck. Um, and also I'm getting a bear canister a friend of ours is buying for us. Um, some of the areas require it, some don't. So kind of going back and forth with it, but um, I think in the long run it'll be good. So I'm going to show you my stuff in just one second. So started the gear review. This is my lightweight sleeping bag. These two components are my Haven tent. Um, I went with Haven tent because it can either be a suspended hammock that lays flat or it can be a bivy tent that goes on the ground. So uh, a little bit heavier than just a regular tent, but I like the diversity of it. Um, so I, I went with that. That's my puffy uh, that I need to exchange because I got one that's too big. This is my seal skin hat. Um, be used initially when it's colder, but it's basically a waterproof hat. So if you're walking, your head will stay dry. These are shorts because, again, in the beginning, who knows what the weather's going to be. It could be colder at first or it could be something that requires shorts. These are my hiking pants. They're really cool. I like them a lot. Um, very lightweight. Um, and I think the ones that even in the summertime I can wear when it's cooler or when it gets to the area where it's buggy. This is my Marina Will lightweight um, underlying you know, underwear type thing. That I probably need initially. That'll probably go home when it gets too warm. The puffy will probably go home when it gets too warm. And Rick will send me more of a lightweight um, fleece jacket. This is just a short sleeve um, hiking shirt. Basically, it's very cool. It's got lots of pockets. Dries out quickly. It gets wet. Um, I've got two pair of socks initially. These are, again, seal skin ones. They're waterproof socks. They're great in the beginning. But when it gets start getting a little too warm... Um, you have to not wear anywhere because your feet will sweat. And then, of course, a pair of darn tough socks. Um, this little guy here is a dual purpose. He will either um, blow up my mattress. So I just kind of hold it down here. Or deflate my mattress. It also is a light that can go on the inside of a tent if you just need a quick light. So <clears throat> multi-purpose is kind of nice. And then this is a mini Garmin, and it's a satellite device, interfaces with my phone, so if I don't have a cell signal, I can still send a text message to people. Um, there'll be a, a place if you want to send me your email address at the end of the day. Um, it also has the ability, I send an, a bulk email to everybody, it tells me the location where I'm at, and um, I can put a message saying everything's going okay. This is just a cheapy, lightweight jackknife that I needed. Um, this is a battery pack, so basically you charge it up when you're in town, and then I use this if I need to recharge my cell phone, or I need to recharge this, or this is my LED headlamp. Um, again, I can charge it with that device there, so this thing is cool. Um, it either can be a very bright LED light on your forehead, or it just uses it kind of like a regular light um, that you normally have. And then, of course, there's just a charger, and I took two cables in case one... Um, doesn't work. So cookware, this is my little stove <laughs> right here and it attaches to a little gas tank um, that I won't be getting the gas tanks till I get down to Georgia. The, the, the guy that's going to give me a ride from um, the train station up to the trail, he provides the gas and, and so because it's not something you can bring on the train, which I'm taking the train down. This is my little cup for cocoa coffee. That's my cook pot. And you always take a little bag of mattresses, basically goes in here, just in case you need them. Uh, over here is my trowel, which is kind of an important thing to have at some time. Um, this is my kind of a toiletry bag in here. In here I've got tweezers, I've got little nail clippers, I've got a couple band-aids, um, got a little teeny thing of ibuprofen, a mini roll of toilet paper, more coming, and Rick will send me as needed. And there's also um, a set of earplugs. Earplugs are kind of needed. Um, if you do have to sleep in a shelter, sometimes they get noisy. And it just makes it so you can sleep a little better. This is a um, just a lightweight hiking towel. Sometimes you just need it for if you, um, during the night, get a lot of rain. Wipe off the tent, the, the rain fly. Just make sure it gets dry as you can before you pack it back up. This is a dual purpose thing. It's basically... An emergency blanket, which I don't expect I'm using, but you can also use it um, if I do have to set up my hammock as a bivy on the ground. It opens up so it's ground cover. So it's lightweight, doesn't take up any room, it's not bulky, so that's one of the reasons I'm taking that. 
And this is my little kit for water filtration. So this is a solar product. So you can filter your water so that it's safe. Um, I also put in some uh, water tablets in the event that maybe my um, filter system breaks or I have to get another one. <clears throat> in the meantime, I have got little pills that I can put in water to make sure that it's safe. This is my selfie stick. Not sure if I'm going to take it or not. May play around with it. It may go back home. Don't know. So um, let me just, that's interesting. I'm going to go get my pack. So this is my backpack. This is the exact same one I used when we hiked the Vermont Long Trail back in 2016. It's still in really good shape. Um, lots of compartments. <clears throat> you know, lots probably more room than what I need, but um, I really don't want to buy another one. It's, it's fairly lightweight. Um, so there's going to be another video when I get closer where we show how it's packed because um, you always have to make sure you pack it a certain way um, to keep it from getting, you know, make sure that stay, everything stays dry. The only other thing I haven't got on the table here is my rain fly that goes on the backpack, but we will show that later. Thanks for watching.